So a shipping company needs to route a package from Washington, D.C. to San Diego. To minimize costs, the package will be first sent to their processing center in Baltimore, uh, Maryland, then sent as part of mass shipments between their various processing centers, ending up in their processing center in Bakersfield, California, uh, and there it'll be put on a small truck out to San Diego. Uh, so we're mainly routing here between uh, these processing centers, uh, and so the we, we calculate the travel time, we add a few hours for processing, and we end up with a table of values that looks like this. And so this is the, uh, city at each point here, like, this is the time from Baltimore to Chicago would be 15 hours, the time from Baltimore to Atlanta is 14. If there's no value there, that means there's no connection between those, between those cities. So one option here would be to draw a graph. Uh, so we could actually draw out Bakersfield, Atlanta, Chicago, and draw the connections and work off of it that way. But let's see if we can work directly off the table. So we're going to start in Bakersfield, because it's our, uh, our end position. Remember, we're going from, uh, Baltimore to Bakersfield. And so we mark it as having a distance of zero from the end. So it's our current vertex, so we're going to go backwards from there and say, from there, uh, Denver is 19 minutes away, sorry, hours away, uh, and Dallas is 25 uh, hours away. Okay, so now we're done with Bakersfield, uh, and we move on to the next closest city, which is, which is Denver. So from Denver, we work backwards again. So from Denver, we could go, let's see, we could go 18 minutes additional to Chicago, and so 19 hours, sorry, hours, 19 hours plus another 18 hours would be 37 hours to Chicago. Or from Denver, we could go through Atlanta, and 19 plus 24 hours would be 43 hours to Atlanta. Or we could go back to Bakersfield, but why would we go back to Bakersfield? So we're not going to do that. Uh, so at this point, we're done with Denver, and we move on to the next shortest city, uh, next closest city. Uh, so that would be Dallas, so we'll move on to Dallas, and from Dallas, we can figure out what's going on. So from Dallas, uh, 25, uh, plus 18 here, 25 plus 18 would be 43 to Chicago, but 43 is longer than our current path. We could also say 25, from Dallas, we could go to Atlanta, and Dallas to Atlanta would be 25 plus 15 is 40, and 40 is better than 43, so we're going to replace that 43 with a time of 40, because we have a more efficient route now. Okay, and, uh, of course, we don't want to go back to Bakersfield, because that's where we're, uh, you know, that's sort of where we're working back from, uh, and so we're now done with Dallas. So our next shortest is... Chicago, and so marking Chicago as current, we say, let's see here, I could go to Baltimore, so 37, uh, here plus, let's see here, 37 here plus 15 there would give me a time of 52 to Baltimore, routing through Chicago. Uh, we could also say 37 plus 18, um, but 37 plus 18 is going to be much bigger than 19, so we don't want that. 37 plus 18 to get to Dallas is definitely going to be bigger than 25, so we don't want that one. 37 plus 14 is going to be bigger than 40, so we don't want that one. And so we're completely done updating for Chicago now. And we move on to the next closest city here. So from Atlanta, we could go to Baltimore, which would be 40 plus 14. And, but 40 plus 14 is 54, which is longer than that route. And so we definitely do not want to do that. We also don't want to go back to Denver, Dallas, or Chicago. And so we are now done with that. And so now we know the shortest route from Bakersfield, sorry, from Baltimore to Bakersfield here is going to have a total time of 52 hours.